all right in this video we are going to look at crude oil earlier I have uh, earlier in the day I have provided the analysis for these options in which we were unable to provide the uh, analysis for crude oil I wanted to spend some more time and see if there we could find some uh, more patterns or uh, LEFF structures within the uh, within the data feed that we have right over here so here's an updated analysis for crude oil as you guys are um, well aware of, of it that I am uh, bearish on crude oil and that is still going on nothing has changed as far as uh, the larger pattern is concerned here you'll have an idea of what we are thinking right now okay let me have a look first of all we are expecting that uh, we're gonna see uh, this is our the blue line is our intermediate degree wave 1 and 2 wave 3 is going on right now over here and wave 4 will be uh, after that it's going to take some time wave 4 but still we have quite a bit of price movement left for wave 3 and after wave 4 is complete we are going to go complete intermediate degree of wave 5 and this would become wave 1 the reason is because I believe that we have completed a top right over here at a cycle uh, wave uh, degree right over here and then we are creating a new trend downwards on the in the bearish side within the third wave of the blue we have wave 1 right over here this is wave 1 uh, I'll going to adjust the chart so you can actually see what, what I'm talking about. This is wave 1 right over here and this is our pullback is wave 2. This 5 wave structure within the clear wave 5 wave structure is our wave 3 and this pullback structure is wave 4. And we can see that uh, we are expecting right now wave 5 to be even more subdivisible. So we already have completed wave 1. I'm considering this as wave 1 and the correction. We are still not, sh uh, this structure right, that pullback is wave 2. That pullback is complete. This pullback on a 2 level, which is uh, the starting point of that is the end point of that move is $94, is now complete. Alright. And uh, within the third wave of the fifth wave, we are going to see another extension right over here. So I wanted to bring that point right over here. Important point is, we are within third wave intermediate degree. We have completed one, two, three, four of a minor degree. We are going through the fifth minor wave, where minor wave one is complete, minor wave two is complete. Within the minor wave three, we are going to see an extension, and that's what we're going to talk about. This is the daily time frame you guys are looking at. Let's zoom in at an hourly time frame so we can actually see some patterns. So that this pattern is now top is complete, which is 94. This is minor degree two, uh, minor wave two is now complete right over here. The main question we are right, right now looking for is I hope that we get another pullback right over here. I'm considering this whole price movement as a smaller degree wave 1 and a smaller degree wave 2. Alright. This is the uh, wave extension. Uh, since we are expecting wave 3 to be quite strong. Let me see. So we are expecting wave 3 to be quite strong right over here in this region. And within, we only have completed wave 1 right over here and wave 2 is complete or not. We're going to discuss about that. Let me first label this thing. So here's the start of minute degree 0 and this is our wave 1 and we're going to make sure whether we have completed wave 2 or not. There's a possibility uh, if we get a pullback will be that will be really lucky for us to join the trend on the downside. And somewhere over here would be 3 and 4 and five right over here okay and this one my fellows is going to be our minute degree all right minor minute and minuet degree okay and i think i might have messed up with the degrees okay here it is so let's have a look once again we have this one is primary degree, I mean intermediate degree, okay. And this one is going to be our minor degree, which is one less than um, intermediate. The next one should be minute degree, okay. This is our minute degree. Let's have a look, okay. And the next one is is one level even lower which is right over here minuet okay so minute and minuet we are good so here is the labeling of it the whole problem is right now and the way i'm looking at it is right now that this 
wave when the drop is complete we will be completing wave third green and then a pullback as wave four that will last shall last few days and then a larger price movement downward all right this is how i'm looking at right now within uh, we have completed a clear uh, first wave right over here this wave green wave two is complete and within the third this green wave right over here we have completed wave one right now we are waiting for pullback if the pullback comes join only the trend if the pullback comes in that case this will be a nice trading setup toward, towards the bearish side and this trend line has worked amazingly we, i initially stated a couple of days ago that we might need to move it but no we don't need to move it this trend line has worked beautifully it has two points right over here too then third one got rejected right over here so the three point trend line is now confirmed right now that we can use this uh, so here it is right now we are waiting for a pullback if it does not happen uh, we are still bearish on the downside but i'm going to wait for the pullback let's see if that happens in that case it's very good we'll have a chance to join the trend in not case in let's say it does not happen it goes down we'll see have another wait we'll have to wait for a, a pullback to join the trend i'm not in favor of joining at this moment a pullback would be really ideal and this is the analysis i wanted to present to you guys remember how many days we have left maybe another month of data of um, price movement going downward so we have quite a bit of uh, price movement left uh, we are going to be bearish correction bearish correction bearish correction bearish move all right and then wave four of the blue la this one is going to take quite a bit of time okay i hope that i was able to uh, provide some uh, help with here wish you good luck with your trading and have a good one bye bye